In this video, I'm going to show some of the jump animations and also I'll show the test bed under which I test the jump animations before I actually integrate them into the game controller. So the first animation is just the initial jump animation. It's just a single frame animation that the character goes into once the player selects the jump. So I'll be blending into this from whatever other animation the character is currently playing. So it's just a fairly simple pose. The next one is when he's flying through mid-air and it's just slightly animated. His arms wave slightly and so do his legs. So I'll blend into this from the other animation I had just shown earlier. And again, as you can see, all the animations are in place, so I'm re responsible for updating the position. This is another single at frame animation, and this is the initial first frame when the player comes into contact from the ground after being air airborne. So this is the first, I guess, impact animation. Again, a single frame animation. Then from that single frame animation we go into a transition frame that transitions from ground impact impact to the first frame of in this case uh crouch animation so i'll just single step through the frames hold on i'll move the character a bit so it's sort of uh just a impact from hitting the ground and then going into the first frame of the crouch run so after this animation completes, I'll just layer on the uh, run animation and the character will just keep running. And it has this has to be a fairly quick transition because you want to get up to speed as quickly as possible so that the character is ready to handle the uh, other actions requested by the player. And the final animation is very similar, but this one transitions into a standing upright animation. So I'll play that one again. And as you can see this one, he goes into the first frame of the upright pose. So we have that sort of variety where he can either go crouched or upright and it's picked randomly in the player controller. So the next section of this video, I'll show the test bed that I use so that we can critique these animations with the animator who is off site. So I just use the, use the internet to show the videos to him and then he updates and then we iterate through the animations. So that'll be in the second section of this video. All right, in this section of the video, I show the test bed that I use with the animator to test the jump animations. And again, they're just in place. It's just to find if there's any anomalies or things that need to get fixed. And I just cycle through the animations and blend through them. So first it starts off with the run, as you can see here. Then it goes into the uh, initial jump animation, which will blend into that airborne animation that animates slightly. And then it blends to the impact animation right here. And then from the impact, it goes straight into the run. This is the standing up run. So I just use this so that I can test the animations that the animator does and he has something he can look at and we have a bit of a turntable so we can look at it from all angles. So that's pretty much what I'm going to show for the animations. I just wanted to do this video so if someone's interested in how we authored the jump animations they can look at this. I'll probably do another video because there's two outstanding um, Ren or jump animations that I haven't shown here. Those will probably be done tomorrow or in a few days. So I'll do a video for that. And then the next video, I'll actually show the jumps actually being integrated into the player control controller. So till next time, thanks and bye.